In this lesson, I define asset concepts used throughout Domain 2. An asset is anything of value to an organization, and there are two types, tangible and intangible. Tangible assets are things you can touch. Intangible assets have no physical presence. Tangible assets include computers, storage devices, and filing cabinets. Intangible assets include intellectual property, such as trade secrets. Data policy set forth management's expectations about how information is collected and kept safe. A data policy should set forth three general principles. First, an organization should only collect information absolutely needed for business operation. Second, the organization and its data owners are responsible for safeguarding collected information. Next, data should only be kept as long as it provides value to the business. After that, information should be securely destroyed. Finally, the data policy must be aligned with statutory and regulatory requirements. Data governance is an effort within an organization to manage the safe and proper creation, transformation, and usage of information. Governance teams achieve their objectives by ensuring that people and process management ensures expected processing and delivery of information, compliance with both external and internal policies, statutes and regulations, and ensures respect for human factors affected by how information is managed. Data governance is the responsibility of C-level management, but it's usually delegated to a data governance office or committee, depending on the size of the organization. The committee or office is responsible for working with stakeholders to write data policies and develop supporting procedures. Guidance for data governance is provided by ISO 38500. Data quality is a measure of the accuracy, the currency, and the relevance of the content of each data set needed for critical business functions. Two activities support data quality. The first is quality assurance. QA uses standards to identify and correct data set inconsistencies and other anomalies. It answers the question, is the data fit for the purpose? Quality control uses standards, processes, and procedures to manage data quality in ways largely discovered by QA practices. Data set quality is a moving target. QA and QC strive to reduce data set errors to acceptable levels. There are two general types of data errors, errors of commission and errors of omission. Errors of commission are caused when a user enters incorrect data. Data acquisition oversight controls help mitigate this. Errors of omission are harder to detect. They're caused when data needed to provide full data accuracy and purpose for use is not entered or acquired. Data documentation usually occurs before a database is created. It includes how the data is structured and the meaning of the data elements. The same information should also be maintained for collected information not contained in databases. Accurate documentation helps ensure the continued use of the data, understanding of when and where to use the data, the limits of the data's use, and the ability to integrate multiple data sets for existing or new critical business functions. Data documentation includes metadata, readme files, and other documents. Metadata is data that describes other data and often helps locate it. For Microsoft Office files, it's part of each file created and can be entered by the creator of the document or spreadsheet. Metadata is also needed for data sets in databases. Metadata should include a description of the information in the file or data set, applicable rules and policies that apply to the data, the data set's data owner and other stakeholders, business activities and processes that collect, use, and transform the data, how the data is managed, and 
metadata that helps locate a data set's metadata. Finally, file names should reflect the project, application, or business function to which they apply. In addition, any information not included in the metadata must be included in a README file or some other document. This includes parameter names, users, units of measure, formats, and definitions of coded values. Finally, file names should reflect the project, application, or business function to which the files apply. Data organization is the final concept. It includes data classification and data categorization. Data classification ranks data according to its confidentiality requirements. Data categorization assesses each data set based on the business impact if its confidentiality, integrity, or availability is compromised. Classification and categorization are covered in another lesson. One concept not specifically covered in this section of Domain 2 is data owner. The data owner is ultimately the CEO and the board of an organization. However, data ownership is usually delegated. For example, the data owner of financial information might be the VP of finance. The data owner of employee data is the VP of HR. The data owners are responsible for assessing risk associated with the data and related systems. Security works with the data owners to manage risk and needed safeguards. That's it for this lesson. If you have questions, please ask. And until next time, be careful what you click.